Let's talk about the book. You have Naughty, yes. Naughty Mabel, and this is uh, your dog. Is This is based on your it dog. It is inspired. Uh, my, my partner, Devlin Elliott, and I uh, wrote this. Yes, it is inspired by our very own dog, Mabel, uh, who we've, we, we've talked about many times in the yes. past. You, so much so, it's gotten to her head. She's gotten very temperamental. Uh, well, if you can't look her... Yeah, that's why we wrote the book. Yeah. No, she's, she, you can't look her directly in the eye or, or she feels threatened and will lash out. It's like living with Streisand. <laughs> but what happened was, whenever, whenever I would take her for a walk, if she saw a fancy black town car, she would drag me towards it and, and, uh, and think it was for her and try to get in. You know, she'd look back at me as, and, as if to say, you know, you gotta get the door chubby, I've got places to go. <laughs> So I was joking with Devlin and said we <laughs> we should <laughs> don't never do comedy while there's a dog a dog slideshow behind you. You can't you can't compete. Um, so I suggested we write a, a, a you know jokingly a, a children's book about an overprivileged French bulldog right. living in the Hamptons and he wrote a first draft and then we had said here now it's your turn and we started to collaborate and thus Na Naughty Mabel was born. Wow, that's amazing. And and is she really that naughty? She's not as naughty as her uh, fictional counterpart, but she is, she is almost as pampered. I mean, she's the only dog I know who will uh, only drink sparkling toilet water. <laughs> and, and she'll only chase free-range squirrels. Uh, uh, I, uh, I don't mind grooming her, but the French tips are a bit much. Uh, <laughs> and she has become a bit of a celebrity. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yes. Well, she's already dabbled in Scientology and... Uh, <laughs> Her ID collar says, if found, please return to rehab. And, when, and did you write, you said Devlin wrote it and then you wrote it. You enjoyed the process of writing? Oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was a great, we had a great time doing it together. And then I was nervous because there have been so many celebrity children's books, from mm -hmm. Bob Dylan to Christy Yamaguchi, everyone. And they've been met with varying degrees of success. And uh -huh. we, we all remember Mel Gibson's One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Jew Fish. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Remember? Hillary Clinton's, oh, the emails you'll delete. Um, <laughs> Bernie Sanders, cloudy with a chance of dementia. <laughs> oh, you lost him on that one. Yeah, you had him and then you lost him on the Bernie. <laughs> well, I'm not finished yet. Okay. <laughs> you'll get him back. Then there was Chris Christie's Goodnight Spoon. Uh <laughs> And then Donald Trump, of course, wrote one. Uh -huh. uh, Donald and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad haircut. Uh <laughs> See?